Good morning friends in Blackwood and beyond. I'm Mark Thomas, Minister of Mount Pleasant Baptist Church in Blackwood. Thanks very much for joining me as we again gather in this way and pause to pray. We light a candle as we gather. I've got my matches here somewhere and I know many of you are joining in with me in doing that and uh, we uh, we seemingly more ever need the light of Christ in our world, don't you, th don't you agree? So uh, let's, uh, let's strike a match and light our candle and bring this candle to life as we see the flame rise and uh, it reminds us as ever uh, that we join uh, with many uh, believers across the world today who will be lighting candles for all sorts of reasons uh, but we, we light it because it reminds us that Christ is the light of the world and we meet in his name and in his presence. We also got a Bible verse and uh, I've been encouraging you to look at Psalm uh, 9 this week. I hope you've had a chance to, to maybe glance at this, maybe read it through as a whole. Uh, the focus for my attention has been the middle section um, and, uh, and if there's one verse that I would have wanted you to hone in on it would be verse 6 because verse 6 here uh, in a sense reveals the character and nature of God. So verse 6 of Psalm 9, verse 16 of Psalm 9, the Lord is known by his acts of justice, the wicked are ensnared by the work of their hands. The Lord is known by his acts of justice, the wicked are ensnared by the work of their hands. It's a psalm uh, written really and within it uh, the acknowledgement uh, and maybe even a celebration of God's righteous resistance of evil and a celebration and anticipation uh, of his assertion uh, to rule and reign in our midst, in our world, in our lives. And as we align ourselves uh, to God's way and give our allegiance to him, then our character too uh, should reflect his character. And if he is a God who is known for acts of justice, then we too should be known for our acts of justice. Uh, this is something that uh, is regularly uh, communicated through the Bible. Uh, it should be something that shouldn't surprise us to hear. And as we continue to communicate that, uh, we also continue at least to call out evil uh, and to resist it. Uh, and in our day, perhaps prevalent in our news at the moment, is that, uh, that evil of racism. And we should call it out and seek to resist it in all its forms. And so we come to pray this morning. I'm using a prayer uh, adapted. Uh, some of it will sound familiar to you, but I hope that this will be a meaningful prayer to you. Let's pray together today. Our Father, who always stands with the weak, the powerless, the poor, the abandoned, the sick, the aged, the young, the unborn, who art in heaven, where everything will be reversed, where the first will be last and the last will be first, but where all will be well and every manner of being will be well. Hallowed be your name. May we always acknowledge your holiness, respecting that your ways are not our ways, your standards are not our standards. May the reverence that we give your name pull us out of the selfishness that prevents us from seeing the pain of others. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Open our hearts to let you in, so that the complete mutuality that characterises your life might throw, th flow through our veins, and thus that the life that we help generate may radiate your equal love for all and your special love for the poor. On earth as it is in heaven, may the work of our hands, the institutions and structures that we build in this world, reflect the structure of your glory, so that the joy, graciousness, tenderness and justice of heaven will show forth in all of the structures here on earth. Give. Give life and love to us and help us to always see everything as a gift. Help us to know that nothing comes to us by right and that we must give because you have given to us. 
Help us realise that we must give to the poor, the needy, the marginalised and victimised, not just because they need it, but because our own health depends upon our giving to them. Us, the truly plural us, give us not just to our own, but to everyone, including those who are very different to us, not those who we regard as simply being our in our way, but those who are in need in whatever their situation. This day, not yesterday, or not tomorrow, but this day. Don't let us push things off into some indefinite future that we can continue to live justified lives in the face of injustice, because we can make excuses for our inactivity. No, Lord, make it this day, this day our daily bread, so that each person in the world may have enough food, enough clean water, enough clean air, adequate health care, suffi sufficient access to education, so as to have the sustenance for a healthy life. Help us to give from our sustenance and not just from our surplus. And forgive us our sins. Forgive us our blindness towards our neighbour, our self-preoccupation, indeed our racism, and our incurable propensity to worry only about ourselves and our own. Forgive us our capacity to watch the evening news and do nothing about what we see and hear. Do not put us to the test. Do not judge us only by whether we have fed the hungry, given clothing to the naked, visited the sick or tried to mend the systems that victimise the poor. Spare us this test, for none of us can stand before your scrutiny. But deliver us from evil, and all that the evil one puts our way, in seeking to trip us up, or tempt us to deny our need of you, and our need for you to continue your transforming work in our lives, in our hearts and minds, in our institutions and organisations, indeed in our community and across our country. Lord, forgive and transform us. And today, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We offer all these prayers in the wonderful, glorious and redeeming name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thanks so much for joining me again in prayer today. I'll be back here again on Sunday morning, of course, and it being Sunday, there'll be an extra message, and I hope that that's something that you'll come along and listen to on Sunday. But in the meantime, uh, please do go and read Psalm 9 again, and pray for our country and our community, and, uh, and I'll see you again soon. Take care, and God bless. <laughs>